is this whole glass panel, which is actually looking straight through into the hallway going up the stairs. It's this magnificent piece of art, which has been actually been built into the wall. The most phenomenal views of London from up here. Hi, I'm going to personally be taking you on a tour today of this magnificent four bedroom property which is on Hawksley Road, very sought after road in the heart of uh, Stoke Newington, just off Church Street, Clissold Park. Fun fact, current owner is an architect, so this is going to be a great film. Let's go in. Wow. So, first thing I noticed upon entering this property is the grand hallway, um, which also includes abundance of natural light. And I believe this is coming from, firstly, this floor to ceiling glass, which is going through from the kitchen. Um, we also have some further glass pillars, again, at the back of the kitchen, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, just before we enter the kitchen, what I have noticed is this really great feature, which is this sliding door. Now, this is great because, of course, what this is actually doing is saving us a lot of space. Um, and also gives us some extra privacy, obviously, when we're whining and dining. Okay, upon entering this beautiful kitchen, firstly, what I've noticed is this beautiful parquet flooring throughout. A kitchen table to match the kitchen worktops. Neutral colours. But something that really stood out to me was this really fabulous, custom-made shelving unit. As you can see, it's a bit different. It's like something I've never personally seen before, but it blends in beautifully with the neutral colours. So upon entering this kitchen, what I have noticed is firstly these eclectic, wonderful tiles. Keeping in theme with the neutral tones, but they do stand out, they're a bit different, they're quirky. We've got some really bold tones going through though as well, so we have this great burnt wood theme, um, of course, which again, just stands out with the neutral shades and colourings. Worktops, we have these solid concrete worktops. Something else I really love is this whole glass panel, which is actually looking straight through into the hallway going up the stairs, leading off into the rest of the house, bringing in an abundance of natural light. So upon leaving the kitchen, I'm now entering our south facing garden. Very green, very lush, but also really great living space for entertaining uh, in the summer months. Having a sweet, cosy corner, make the kids run around, whatever it is you want to do in your garden. Um, but what I love, it's very peaceful, it's very quiet, and it's really quite a tranquil space. Now, fun fact, I can loop all the way from the kitchen, through the garden, straight back into the house via the hallway. So, really cool hallway. Um, as you can see, we've got some really funky tiles, but what's really convenient and really well placed as well is hidden away storage. So this whole panel here is storage, including in this cupboard right here as well. So what we're now gonna do is I'm gonna take you into our converted basement. So as we enter just down a, uh, a few steps, um, we walk into this converted basement where we have ample storage, um, but we also have some really quirky little things going on. Firstly, I just want to show you this really awesome skylight that's been fitted. Um, because, of course, the garden is south facing, so we're going to have ample light coming through here. So, again, really great to be used as a playroom, which is what the actual room is being currently used as. But in the evening time, if you wanted to, you could convert it into your own little cinema room. So as we come up to the half landing, I'm going to take you into the family bathroom. So it's light, it's bright, and we also have really good storage from wall to wall with these wonderful mirrored cupboards. Um, we have great sized bath, including of course the bath shower combination as well. So as I enter the first floor, uh, we have two rooms. I'm going to take you off into, of course, what was originally used as a bedroom. Uh, the current owners have actually turned it into their home office. Um, it's south facing, uh, so as you can appreciate, we're going to have ample light pouring through here. Um, but again, if you wanted to use it as a bedroom, it's an ample double room. But again, home study office, it's also a great feature. Uh, through here, we have a really beautiful contemporary living room. So we have neutral colours, softly blended in, 
But what I love as well is the original features. We have all the original cornicings going on within the ceiling. And again, the original cornicing around the light shade as well. Sash windows, wonderful natural light pouring in. But something that really did catch my eye was this magnificent piece of art, which has actually been built into the wall. So I don't think sadly the, uh, the owner will be able to take this with them. So it's a great feature to hold on to. Okay, so as we come up to the second floor, we have a further two bedrooms, come on through. In here, uh, we have a self-facing bedroom, which is actually being occupied at the moment as another study slash office. But as you can see, great size, plenty of space. Um, and of course, as I mentioned, really good light as well. Now through here is our second bedroom, which is being actually used at the moment as the kids' room. Um, we have ample light, great windows, but more importantly as well, if I were a kid, or when I was a kid, this is a great room um, and so much space for activities. So as I come up to the very, very final floor, we have the master bedroom. Something that's already caught my eye is the inner keeping with the rest of the property, so the neutral colours, the wonderful balance and contrast. You've got grey built wardrobes, um, using up really good ample space. We have another really lovely added little feature here, which is your floor to ceiling glass panel. Um, just to my left, we have the ensuite bathroom, which is our shower room. Really quirky tiles. Again, a bit of natural light being able to come through and a really lovely finished off marble sink with gold taps, which actually match, of course, with the shower fittings as well. So I thought I'd save the best till last. As you can see, we have the most phenomenal views of London from up here. Can you imagine waking up to this in the morning or even at night, going to bed and seeing the night skyline of the city of London? Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know what you think of this phenomenal property. Um, and also, if you would like to see more videos like this, head to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Bye.